So guys, today I'm going to do a very unique topic. Now, a lot of questions are there with respect to can you train your mind to actually make more money? Right? And the actual answer is yes. Now, when I read about this somewhere, I didn't realize it because I was doing most of the things that was already written over there, right? But then I thought, okay, you know what? Let's make a video on this and actually show you guys or try to th- make you think in a slightly different perspective about money. Because a lot of people uh, in today in India, especially, and a lot of people around the world, look at money from a very one-dimensional approach. Right? They look at money as a means to an end. Um, there's a lot of different psychological elements that you and your mind and your body has to be trained in order to just go with that outlook of making money. Now, have you always wondered that there are some people who are extremely successful, make a lot of money? If you have observed these kind of people, you see that their entire persona their aura their perspective about money is completely different i'm talking about all the people who are already rich right and we always wonder you know maybe they know this secret or maybe they know something that made them very rich right but maybe they do i'm not saying they don't know but it is a lot to do with your mind and it is a lot to do with how you train your mind and today i'm going to tell you some few tricks and tips on how you can actually fine tune your brain right which will actually make you think about how to make money and you will constantly start looking at opportunities and different ways to actually make your money so let's look at some of the points in this episode now the first thing that i would usually do right when it comes to how to train your mind to get more money is first you need to develop this confidence that you will not be poor right now for example it might sound very easy to say this that okay shashank you're saying it you know you need this confidence that you won't be poor but you need to get this confidence inside yourself now for example right if you ask me shashank do you have the confidence that will you be poor or will you be rich in this life i can say with utmost guarantee that i will figure it out and ensure that i'm rich right i will not be poor that is something that i know right now with that much confidence is there in me now some people might say okay but you know what maybe your dad is rich or maybe your mom is rich or maybe you have this uh, background or the inheritance that you might have so you are lucky right i'm not talking about all that at all i'm saying tomorrow if you throw me on an island with wifi and a laptop will i survive and will i not be poor and will i be rich that is the question so if you ask me shashank if we throw you on some unknown island right and only give you a laptop and a wifi will you succeed and get your way back and still end up making enough money right so that you can consider yourself rich i have that confidence to tell everyone right now yes throw me anywhere you want i have so much knowledge and so much confidence in my knowledge that i'll figure it out now why am i saying this that confidence is so important because a lot of people cannot say with utmost surety and certainty that yes throw me in an island i will come back and make money right maybe there are like 15 20 of you guys who might actually say that but there are a lot of people who will hesitate when asked this question to them a lot of people who will think they will be like maybe but you know what it might be difficult you know maybe but what if this is there what if that is there they start looking for excuses they start looking for other parameters and variables to ensure that helps them to get rich right but that's not the point the point is you need to make those variables and you need to become rich because of that confidence now confidence plays a massive role when you talk about becoming rich or poor right now if i know for a fact that you do anything in life i will somehow figure out a way and become rich that is the confidence and that itself will give you a massive boost compared to a person who is not confident about making money or who is not confident about becoming very rich right so see automatically how the psychology plays a lot in this picture now that is one of the most important factors but how do you develop this confidence how do you gain confidence don't worry i'm not just coming here and giving you some generic bullshit i'm actually going to actually tell you how to tweak your brain in a little bit right the first thing is now how do you get this confidence for all the people who don't have this utmost confidence yeah boss i'm going to become rich right you don't have that confidence what do you do right first try to understand why you don't have this confidence mostly because you don't have confidence because you don't have the knowledge to have that confidence of utmost confidence you don't have this knowledge you may not have a particular knowledge about something for you to succeed in life now if you tell me shashank you take a laptop and sit there and start making money you'll be like shashank how will you do it right firstly i know for a fact okay my brain has this wealth of knowledge with respect to finance that means i need to start getting some financial uh, freelancing projects or any person who wants to hire me for my financial expertise now if i'm not confident about my financial brain or if i'm not confident about the knowledge that i have with respect to finance then even i would waver and say you know what maybe i won't be that successful or i won't be that rich so that is very important so if you feel there are some gaps in your knowledge that is hindering your confidence go fill that knowledge gap right for example if you tell me today shashank i'll leave you in an island 
okay and you have to do intraday trading i'll give you 10000 dollars to intraday trading and become rich i do not have the confidence i'd be like no maybe i can't become rich with intraday right i know for a fact i can't so what do i do i have to build that confidence that even if i'm not with a job i have some amount of capital can i do intraday trading and become rich right for that i need to learn because i don't have the knowledge at all right i might lose i might win but at least i'll have the knowledge to understand how to maneuver this path currently i don't have that knowledge so the first point is confidence and second to gain that confidence you need to up your knowledge game got it there's another take to looking at money now i don't know whether some people would like this i don't know whether this is a perfect analogy to this uh, but just bear with me and listen to me because this is something that i do maybe subconsciously maybe unknowingly but when i saw this somewhere and i'm like dude this is blowing my mind because this is exactly what i do the second thing it might be a little weird but you have to be in a relationship with money right your money you should look at money as your girlfriend or your wife right it you should be in a relationship you are the boyfriend and the money is your girlfriend and i'll tell you why i'm making such a weird example now for all the people who have a lot of money who are successful about money have you seen that sometimes they only think about money right and a lot of people say you know what he's only thinking about money and he's not bothered about anything else right but the thing is when you're in a relationship there are few things that you do right when you're in a relationship you care about the other person right you give the other person time right you make time if there's no time you love the other person you're always thinking about the other person right and when you get that other person you don't want to let go you want to keep it to yourself you want to keep that relationship good right and there might be problems there will be challenges right but what do you say you know what i'll figure this out i'll work on these problems and i will ensure that this relationship works this is what you would do with your normal boyfriend and girlfriend right but think about that from a money perspective and i've seen this because i think a lot about it from that perspective right every night i think about money it's it's weird it's sad i don't know some people might say it's stupid right but i actually think i i get peace and solace when i actually calculate a lot of things in the night before sleeping so money is a like like your relationship right you need to start thinking about it you need to start caring about it you need to understand that when it comes to me i need to take care of her not let her go away right keep her to myself as much as possible and when you start thinking from that perspective you will slowly see that you start appreciating the money that you get and when you start appreciating this money that you get you will ensure that it is with you and it is not going anywhere else right so when you start changing your mindset judge start changing your perspective on money this is something that would work now a lot of people might call bullshit to this right a lot of people might say oh this is damn weird this is stupid right and money is not everything right you have to think about other relationships human relationships i'm not saying no to any of that right i'm just saying get enough money right first get something that you don't have get enough of something that you don't have and then you can spend with spend your beautiful time with other people as well i'm not saying don't you know only spend time with money and don't look at anything else obviously take care of your other relationships also but i'm just saying if you're training your mind to love money and to try to make money you should constantly be thinking about her right how do i get her how do i make her happy how do i make it such that she comes to me now what happens right when you start thinking about this constantly constantly you start thinking about how to make money you create opportunities right you create opportunities and i'll talk about that in the next segment now i know a lot of people uh when it comes to making money they they put everything on luck or they put most of it on luck right they say you know what i was not lucky so i couldn't make money oh you know what that other guy was very lucky so see kidhar pahunch gaya woh bahut aage pahunch gaya bahut luck tha uske sath mein now do you know that luck is just a factor of you being in the right place at the right time and for you to be in the right place at the ti- right time it involves a massive set of variables aligning in the perfect place for example if i make a decision of going a instead of b if i go down this path of a there are 100 by variables that open up in the path of a which will again lead me to another path which is a or b maybe i'm in some path there and that opens up an opportunity for me right so it's not about luck only it's about you first thinking about opportunities understanding these opportunities and then putting yourself in such opportunities so that when luck is around the corner it comes to you and not to someone else right so what i'm saying is don't sit and wait for luck to happen don't sit and just be like you know what one day i'll get lucky i'll become rich suddenly you're not playing a lottery game get up get up from your ass and start making your own future start make building your own thing now everything that i said right now is a part of this training right first you need the confidence you don't have confidence you cannot even start get the confidence if you feel i don't have knowledge for it first get the knowledge that's why i keep saying knowledge is the most 
and the most important thing in this world right knowledge apart from it it's even more powerful than money because once you have knowledge money is a by product of knowledge right you have knowledge people will pay you for that knowledge that's the intangible asset and nobody can take that away from you only you have the control of keeping that so get your confidence get your knowledge once you get knowledge and confidence you start thinking about money right you go into a relationship with money start loving money start taking care of money right and once you start thinking about her all the time you will eventually go and do opportunities or take opportunities unknowingly because you're so hell bent on you know making this relationship work with your money so you will start taking good decisions you will start thinking about logical stuff like is this spending worth it or no should i go to that part will it give me better than this part right a lot of people don't check the variables right a lot of people especially when it comes to buying a house they do this math of buying a house versus renting a house and they try to see how much they save right but if you really love your money would you actually give your money to a bank or you would give your money to someone else every month or would you keep it to yourself and and nurture it and ensure that money grows and becomes really big and the relationship with you also grows at the same time that is something that i would do so get your confidence get your knowledge start loving money and when you do that you'll take decisions without knowing and then finally your luck will also become a factor and it'll kick in but it's not because of luck right you don't become rich because of luck you become rich because of the choices you make right because of all these factors right now i tell you another important factor in the next segment now i want you to change your perspective about money now let me give you a different take now everyone says money is a means to an end right great why do we make money so that our basic necessities are sorted what is your basic necessities food shelter and clothing right this was actually in theory money is required for food shelter clothing right but anything else luxury uh spending entertainment all that is a part of you being a human and enjoying your life for whatever time you have right but now let me change your perspective a little bit about money is there small tweaks that you do to your brain which will change the way you think because this is something i did and it's actually working for me a lot the small changes don't look at money as a financial mechanism for your lifestyle okay don't look at money as a financial mechanism for your lifestyle okay you know what i need money for food shelter clothing but look at money as a wealth generating machine or a wealth generating mechanism now i'll tell you what's the difference here right if i look at money as a lifestyle support right if i need to live a lifestyle i need to make 50000 a month and i can live my life a lot of people do this in a month i need 35000 and i will live my life properly all my basic necessities are set you are already putting a cap at 35000 why because your basic necessities are 35 your lifestyle support your lifestyle support is at 35000 right but what i'm saying is don't look at money as lifestyle support think about it from a reverse angle look at money as a wealth generating machine the more i get the more i build the more i get the more it grows right when that happens automatically your lifestyle you will start reducing your lifestyle because you have realized if you nurture this this can become massive in the future and then your lifestyle you can live whatever lifestyle you want right let me give you a simple example If I get say fifty thousand rupees salary in a month, right? My basic necessities are say thirty thousand rupees. Now that means twenty thousand is something that I should save. But what I'm looking at is I'm I'm saying my salary is thirty thousand. My salary is fifty thousand. Thirty thousand is my basic that is required for my lifestyle support. And I'm getting fifty thousand. I am happy, right? But then if you're so happy at fifty thousand and your thirty thousand also sorted, why do you guys look at all these quick money making schemes? Why do you want to invest in Dogecoin? Why do you want to invest in IPOs for listing gates? Right? That means you really want more, right? You don't want just basic food, shelter, clothing, sort. Only ke baad you want something more. So if that is the case, put a different goal. Say, okay, you know what, boss? Fifty thousand is not good enough. If I have a minimum lifestyle of thirty, maybe can I cut it down to twenty? If I can't cut it down to twenty, can I increase my fifty to maybe one lakh? And if I can, maybe it take one or two years. It's fine. How do I do this? You start thinking like that. You start thinking, okay, you know what? I'm getting less out of this relationship. Right, I'm only getting fifty thousand. I want more. I want one lakh, right? And I will not let her go because I will not spend stupid, right? I will not spend like an idiot. I want to nurture her, ensure she grows well, right? You keep her in fixed deposit, she's not going to grow well. So I want to make sure that money grows well, and we don't lose her, right? She's growing at a massive ten percent, twelve percent, fifteen percent a year, compounding constantly. And every year, I'm working towards making this relationship work. So that is very important. Change your perspective that money is not for your lifestyle, not for your support. Money is actually a wealth generating machine, right? That is why whenever I get my salary on the first of every month, 
the first thing i do is throw it into my savings right i actually nurture her right i respect that she is coming to me right and i take that money and put it in the best performing asset i try to find the best performing asset not always you get the best performing asset but i want what's best for her so that she grows as fast as possible and becomes very beautiful once it grows up and then our relationship becomes perfect right but what lot of people do is they get the salary on first they spend most of their money right already lose most of the part of the relationship and whatever is left they end up saving so that becomes a lifestyle mechanism mechanism as opposed to a wealth generating mechanism so just change your thinking about money money is not to support you money is to grow use money money makes money that logic is very simple money compounds so as soon as you get it put it back in it keeps growing got it now another point i'm sorry if i'm boring you but these are some things that you really need to understand if you really want to make ensure that you start thinking from that perspective another very important thing now let's look at you for an example right now do you know that everyone has a value that everyone is tangible in one way or the other if you are working in a job for 50000 rupees in a month your actual actually paid say 50000 rupees divided by 30 days you have a cost per day each individual has a cost per day there are some people who have cost per hour right everyone who's doing freelancing they might charge 8 dollars an hour there are people who work full time gigs that are charging some amount of money per day right now if me and you are looking at from an individualistic perspective shashank what is your hour per day i mean how much do you make per hour or how much do you make per day it might be more than you it might be less than you now if it is less than you do you know what's running in my head how do i make it more how do i increase it do you think i was always at this um, you know dollar per day average no even i started off at zero right even i started off by working hard my first job i used to get 50000 a day and i got pissed right i got irritated because i said how many ever hours i do even if i work all throughout the night if i put in extra hours on saturday sunday i'm still getting 50000 at the end of the day right at the end of the month i'm still getting 50000 my rupees per day is not changing how much ever hard work i put in it's not changing right maybe next year i'll get a promotion maybe 50 will go to 75 but i'm still capped right now understand this why i'm telling you this is because you need to understand how this works right you are limited with the number of hours you can work in a in a 30 day span assume you sleep for 8 hours a day you have limited amount of hours you can work now with the limited amount of hours you have to work wouldn't you want to make the best of it wouldn't you want to increase your you know rupee per hour average if you are making say 100 rupees per hour average right now just start thinking about it from this perspective right what is my net worth today i'm making say 5000 rupees a day right so great that's very good for you if you're making 5000 rupees a day but if you're making only 1000 rupees per day which is around 30000 rupees a month your main goal should be how do i increase this 1000 rupees a day and maybe make it 2000 or 3000 right you'll automatically when you start thinking like this when you put a limit to yourself or you put a timer to yourself saying that boss i'm only making 1000 i want to make 3000 you start thinking about opportunities you will be like okay how do i make this 2000 maybe i should take that course or maybe i should educate myself in this again everything comes back to knowledge and that confidence you get with knowledge is unbelievably insane which will help you boost your value i'm not saying artificially ramp up your value you're not an ipo right you are an individual so you can't artificially ramp up your ipo you need to be bloody good at what you do for someone to actually pay you some good amount so start working on yourself start becoming big from that perspective right now when you raise your value right when you start raising your value and you realize dude i am better than what a lot of people think i should be paid more you automatically start demanding more compensation that will actually help you a lot now the final thing once you have done all this it's time for you to set a goal now i'll tell you what goal setting is underestimated right everyone says yeah i need to make a goal yeah i want to do this i want to do that right uh, and you keep a very very tough goal or sometimes you'll keep it so tough that you can never handle it sometimes you'll keep a goal saying you know what i want to make so much or i want to become successful now becoming successful in my opinion is not a goal right in my opinion a goal should be tangible it should be a number if you're planning to aim something aim a number my number i'll tell you what when i was 26 i said at the age of 30 i want to be at least worth 1 million dollars right at the age of 30 i want to be at least a millionaire that was my first goal at the age of 26 26 was when I started working for the first time. So that was my first time into careers. I was making 50,000 rupees a day and my aim was in the next 4 years I want to reach 1 million, which is 7 and a half crores, right? Now I'm 28 and a half. I'm almost 29 now and I've crossed that 1 million barrier as well. 
right now how did i do that if i was stuck in that job i would have never reached my 1 million value never okay because i left that job i said you know what this is not worth my time i need to go get more knowledge i'm hungry for knowledge i need to take better risks that right? everything comes with risk and reward i took a bigger risk i leaped into the entrepreneurship journey and that actually worked for me and then when avalon scenes raised funding my net worth catapulted to more than a million now when that happens it is satisfying right but it's not like i'm done right i met my goal now i'm not going to be like till 30 i have to maintain 1 million no as soon as i finish my first goal i set another goal for myself now my next goal is 15 million or 100 crores right my first goal was a millionaire now next goal by 35 i want to be worth at least 15 million see how i start making targets now these are not unachievable targets these are not mind blowing targets that might not achieve now they might not work they might work it's fine i'm not saying i will become 15 million net worth at the end of 35 i might not but you know what i'm doing till 35 i am bloody going for that goal i'm doing everything that i take a decision right now every achievement that i do every decision i make right now is like will it reach 100 will it reach 15 million that is what i'm looking at so when i tell you guys to set a goal it does not have to be a wild goose chase it does not have to be 1 million 100 million 1 billion billionaire aisa mat karo do step by step if you are making 10 lakhs per annum this year why don't you put a goal for next year saying i want to make 17 lakhs per annum or maybe 20 lakhs per annum chalo double it in one year let's double your ctc and is it possible now when you say i want to double my ctc for one year i will like take a pen and paper sit down and find out all the ways you can double your ctc right you will be like okay shashank i realize that if i do this you know i can get a higher job right a better chance of getting a job but it take maybe one year or extra one and a half years to do this fine you're telling me in two years you'll increase your ctc from 10 to 20 lakhs which is a 50% gain in each year i will take that bet right because once you know how to reach from 10 to 20 then if i put a challenge to you saying 20 to 40 karo chalo again let's do 20 to 40 you're like cool shashank i know how to do 20 to 40 because i did this now i need to do these five things to reach 40 right to so start making a goal i know it's very underestimated i know it's like a very stupid thing to say everyone says start making a goal do goals but don't do stupid goals make a tangible goal tangible that your mind approves it i know a lot of you guys try to fool yourself by saying main ban jaunga amir i'll become successful great with, with no plan with no idea how will you do it it's impossible right or you'll be like you know what i want to become a billionaire now even you know at the back of your head that you'll be laughing saying that this is a stupid goal let's put a reasonable goal and if you don't believe me put a small goal take this whatever i've told you today and try just work on it for 3 months you will see the results by yourself i don't have to do anything for it right so let me recap everything what i told you on how to train your brain in like simple ways but all this will help you think from a different direction when it comes to money right and you keep saying a lot of people keep thinking about money when you start thinking about money you make different decisions right your decision making capacity changes every decision is impacted by your goal and that impacts your money right now it is very important at this point to not lose focus for the people around you this is something i've seen a lot of people do when they're chasing money like cats and dogs they're with blinders right they lose focus of what's important around them their family their loved ones right they get distracted they're only focusing so much on keeping one relationship with money so good that they forget and neglect the other relationships so my point is be a man or be a woman and step up okay be a good individual and try to manage both really it is not easy at all right sometimes you will be like to fix a particular relationship you will use the other one right so so maybe you screwed up with your girlfriend or boyfriend or with your parents you are not giving them time so you will maybe take something off your current relationship which is money buy them something expensive in order to fix it now that is not going to get fixed with money you know that for a fact with your close and loved ones money can't buy them anything but you also screw your relationship with money because now you are spending a lot of money as well you're not keeping her to yourself right so please don't lose focus around you always maintain a good balance between keeping this relationship of money and your family together and that is how it will work so let me recap this is the step by step process first thing you need to do is get the confidence of i will be rich i will not be poor right this is not some generic bullshit i'm telling you how to do it from a step by step perspective once you feel that you don't have confidence the way to get more confidence is to up your knowledge with whatever field you are in doesn't matter become damn knowledgeable because worst case if you have knowledge you at least become a consultant right people want people with knowledge people want knowledgeable people around them people with lot of money want smarter people around them i want smarter people around me i want people who know more about finance than me and i'm ready to pay for it right if it's possible if i have the money so that is why knowledge is so important so get confidence get your knowledge okay once you get that 
you need to understand that you're in a relationship with money and you have to take care of her nurture her ensure she grows grow with you you know do some compromises for her right but be very faithful to her right don't unnecessarily uh, spend it away right give her time ensure she grows use less of her okay you survive with less it's fine completely all right but in the end you will have a beautiful future ahead if you save more right once you do that you realize that you don't i mean luck is not something that comes to you you have to create opportunities you have to create luck right you so you get into opportunities with this mindset okay i'm looking at for money i'm looking for money i'm making opportunities opportunities create luck once you do that you realize you know what my worth is much more i need to up my worth if it's not keep improving yourself get a better net worth for yourself and start setting realistic goals because if you do all this if you change your perspective like this you will definitely your mind will start changing about money and you will be so focused about opportunities a lot of people keep asking me right shashank how do you connect the dots how do you make these assumptions how do you make these parameters that's because i'm always thinking about the about the relationship i'm always thinking about money so every time i see a particular news you know what i think about how can i make how can i take advantage of this right i see something coming up with some kind of news i'll be like how do i take advantage of this okay who's winning and if they're winning can i be a part of that victory right can i also win oh yes it's a stock listed company of course i can win so let me be a part of this right let me be a shareholder of this company so i win that is why i connect the dots because i constantly think about money in such perspective right i know it's weird i do think about it a lot i'm a numbers guy because it also gives me peace so for me it's like a mix of both because i love numbers i think about numbers numbers connects me to money money connects me automatically to other things in life and everything starts connecting perfectly for me and i have made a balance out of all this right so it's not difficult it's not something that is very difficult but you have to start training your brain in such a way that it becomes easy for you got it awesome so i want to know if you guys have some tips or tricks or hacks on how to cheat your brain into trying to making more money and if you do have that put in the comments below if you liked it guys share subscribe and you should definitely share this with your friends because a lot of people wouldn't think about it from that perspective and you can definitely watch this in 1.5x or recommend this in 1.5x to others but trust me all of this is super 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 useful right this is me shishang gurpa signing off